Hello, my name is Josh Beck. I'm a technology teacher in San Antonio, Texas, with a program called KSAT iMac um, with the Northeast Independent School District. Uh, this is a Blender tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, it's mainly as a review for my students, but some people may find it useful. I'm going to give you a pretty cool resource here. Um, what you'll need for this tutorial, I guess I'll start here, is if you go to my website, uh, linuxclassroom.com forward slash LWO dot zip, I've provided an archive full of light wave models that you can use in Blender. Um, these were provided by a friend of mine who's into video production. Um, lots and lots of great models that import directly into Blender there. That is a cool archive, LWO dot zip on linuxclassroom.com. Check that out. Download that. Um, my, the students in my class, however, you won't download it off the Linux Classroom site because we already have LWO, uh, the whole model archive, set up um, on our network drives. In this tutorial, we're going to open up a model, we're going to color it, and we're going to add some simple particle effects. So I'll start by deleting the default cube. I'm going to hit Shift S and I'm going to make sure the cursor is mov moving to the cube here. Shift S. And I'm going to go cursor to selection. And that's going to put the cursor right on the selection there. Uh, I'm going to start by deleting the selected object. And that just makes sure that you know the cursor is in the center of the Blender grid. Uh, I'm going to choose File, and I'm going to choose Import. And I'm going to scroll down to where it says um, LWO Lightwave. Take a look. One of the options there uh, in Blender should be Lightwave Model LWO. OK. And, uh, I'm going to browse to, um, if you're in my class, if you're working on Linux, it's Network Drive Students. If you are on Windows, it's called Beck Share. And under the folder called Beck, I have the LWO models right here, Network Drive Students Beck. I've got our LWO models folder here. Um, if you unzip that archive on linuxclassroom.com, you're going to get this. Under Objects now, we have lots of different folders that have lots of different um, objects in them. I'm going to scroll down. And I'll choose space. And I'm going to choose the file this time called spacefighter.lwo. Um, and I'll go ahead and I'll click on that. And I'll choose import lwo at the top right. And that's going to bring my space fighter into the project. And there's a neat prefab space fighter that we can kind of work with. OK, so uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some color to this. We're going to color the individual parts. So I'm going to hit uh, tab. I'm going to right click, make sure it's selected. I'm going to tab. I'm going to kick it into edit mode. And now I'm going to hit A to deselect the entire model. I'm going to scroll down. Uh, I'm going to come down here to the bottom. And you've got these three selection modes. You can choose edge select. You can choose vertices select. Or you can choose face select. Well, I'm going to go into face select mode. Now I can select all the individual faces on the model. And then I'm going to uh, click this one right here, which says occlude background geometry. And right now, you can see the grid is transparent. If I click that, now the grid is no longer transparent. And what you see is what you get. Okay, And that keeps us from accidentally selecting things that are we don't want to select. Um, OK, so I'm going to right click on one of the faces. And that's going to single select a single face there. I'm going to hit period on the number pad to kind of zoom in on that particular selection. Um, here's a neat selection trick. I'm going to hit B twice. I'm going to go BB. And that's going to give me the circle there that I can roll the mouse and make bigger and smaller. And now anything that I click on with the circle will be selected. And you can see I accidentally selected the one in the center there. I can middle click on it, and that will deselect it. Okay, So um, I have now selected in edit mode the part of the model that I would like to color. Okay, um, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to click on, I'm going to hit escape to get out of that. Now I can sort of pan around, and we can see what I've got. Okay. Um, and that's, yeah, that's going to work for now. Um, I'm going to click here on the square, all right? And I've got my material selection, OK? Uh, I'm going to assign a new material to those selected faces up here, all right? Um, and so I'll choose New. And you can see now it says 2 mat 2. That means there are two materials, and I'm working with the second material. I'm going to make the second material just a solid color. And it's not really a color. It's a material. You can do anything with materials. You can make them shiny. You can make them transparent. We're just going to make it um, a, a black material. And you can see it hasn't changed yet. That's because I have to click the Assign button down here. Take a look. It says Assign. I'm now going to assign that material to the selected faces. Here we go.
boom. Um, and I'll hit tab to kick it out of edit mode, and you can see now that I have colored that particular portion of the model. Okay. Uh, the next part is adding particle physics. So we're going to add a nice particle effect, and the assignment for the class is, all right, to um, add a particle effect to whatever model it is you choose. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to kick it back into edit mode just for this one as an example, and I'm going to select. I'm going to right click on a face down towards the tailpipe there. I'm going to hit Shift S just to get the cursor close, and I'm going to choose cursor to selection, putting the cursor close to the tailpipe so that I can sort of manipulate where the cursor is. And you can see now the cursor in 3D space is right where the tailpipe is. I'm going to make it look like particles are coming out of that particular area. Um, so I'm going to go add mesh, and I'll choose something easy like UV sphere. And I'll click OK. And it's going to add a sphere, and it's a nice big sphere there. So um, I'll kick it out of edit mode. Um, you can see that they're all joined right now. There's a way to break those meshes apart. All right, but I'm going to delete that mesh. I'm going to delete all. And um, let's see here. Delete faces. There we go. Um, I, I'm going to add that object. I'm going to deselect everything, and I'm just going to add that object by itself. Add mesh, UV sphere. OK. And I'm going to size it down. OK. So what I've done is I've made sure, and I'm making, I'm making about the size of the tailpipe there. Now I can independently, because I added that object um, without having the ship selected, I can now independently select the sphere. And I can ind independently select the spaceship. Okay, so we're going to go to the uh, UV sphere now, and we're going to turn it into a particle emitter. So I'm going to come down here to my physics buttons, and I'm going to click the three arrows, and I'm going to click the particle buttons. All right, and now we're going to click Add New Particle System down at the bottom. All right, in the particle system, uh, we'll say we want 5,000 particles uh, to appear at any given time. We'll start in frame one. We'll go ahead and end in frame 250. And we'll say each particle is now going to have a life of, we'll say 100, not 200, 200 um, frames for each particle. I'm going to add an element of randomization. I'm going to say 1. Now check it out. The green line on Blender represents the y-axis. Okay. Um, the red line represents the x-axis. So we want these particles to move along the green line. So where it says ACCY right there, all right, I'm going to make that value right now. We'll say negative 3, okay? Now, in order to start this animation, I'm going to hit Alt-A and see if the particles move in the right direction. All right, you can see the particles now are flying away from the spaceship from the UV sphere in along the Y axis, okay? Let's go ahead and just add, give them some color. I'm going to click on the um, shading button here. I'm going to click Link to Object, Add New, and we'll go ahead and give these uh, like a pink texture. All right, um, and I'll click. Let's see the button Halo down here. All right, and there's another tab that you can click over here on the top that says Shaders. All right, and you can add, you can try these different shaders. I I'll, I'm going to go with lines right now. Okay, um, I'm going to jump out to say frame 30 in this animation, and then I'm going to hit F12 to render. Um, actually, I've got F12 set to something else. So I'm going to go render current frame. All right. And you can see there's my spaceship with the particles coming out of the back. And if I render the entire animation, uh, it's going to look pretty neat. Okay. So that is your job as a class right now is to color one light wave object and figure out some place that we can get uh, particles sort of um, working with that model. Okay. Thanks for watching. And uh, once again, if you look at the beginning of this video, you'll see where I've got the model archive located online for anyone to download. Thanks for watching and look for uh, my next tutorial.